So let's do a recap of what we learned in this unit. First, we talked about some uh, Python features that were maybe new to you. We used complex list comprehensions, and that's something like x squared for x in blah, 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 if something. We showed generator expressions, and that's similar, but with uh, parentheses. We talked about generator functions, or just generators, and we recognize those with the uh, yield statement. We talked about the idea of handling different types, and this has the uh, fancy name of polymorphism, meaning different forms. And we saw an example of that in uh, timed calls, where we said that the input n, along, uh, and there are other inputs there, n could be either an integer, in which case we would do one thing, or a float, in which case we would do something else. And we check which is which by using is instance. We talked about the eval function and how we can use that to map from a string to a Python object, which is the result of evaluating the string. And in particular, the case of evaluating to a function. An eval is a way of, of making that computation be done once and uh, getting all that work over with so that we can then use that work repeatedly. We also talked about instrumentation and we did timing with the uh, time.clock method that's built in and then we built up timed call and time calls routine and we talked about counting number of invocations of functions or assignment statements or whatever and there we came up with our own routine that we called C. Now I guess I should say a little bit about variable naming conventions. Why did I use a uh, short name like C here, whereas other places I had mo longer, more expressive names? And I guess the reason is C was used only for debugging purposes. It wasn't intended to be part of the final part of the program. And so I felt justified in having that be short because I was gonna be typing it and deleting it frequently. Things that are going to persist for longer have longer names. So, for example, it's fine to say for i in range something where there we know that i is, is an index integer and it only persists over this short loop, so it's okay to have a short name. If something lasts longer, we probably want it to have a longer, more descriptive name.